Well, how nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to be on. Thank you. Are you enjoying? Oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, sorry, Hillary. This is like this is a strange show. <laughs> Are you enjoying being back in London? I am. I think it's like my fourth time here, yeah. and I love it. It's very great. How long are you staying for? I actually was here because I've been doing like a press tour around Europe and stuff. So I was here for a week ago for about four days, and then I've been back for about five days now. And I go home tomorrow to my dogs. So. Oh, do have you? you got dogs? I have five. Yes. <laughs> Say, Bert, I can have another two. <laughs> Aren't they horrible to me, Hilly? Do you know, I've got to say, I'm a big fan of Lizzie McGuire. Thank you. I discovered it by accident with me godson Milo. We were watching. Sure. Yeah. I, I know, I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> and I bought him a Cinderella story. No, I didn't. I bought it for myself. I'm lying. <laughs> oh, a cracking little movie that is as well. It's my. Thank but you. your new single, Wake Up. Now, you co wrote this yourself. Yes, I did. Yeah. What's it about, Bessa? What's it about? Oh. Oh, well, what's the matter? Sing. She's singing for you. Oh, you're trying, to, you're trying to be competitive with me? Am I singing? <laughs> no, the song is um, called Wake Up, and it's basically just about how, like, you know, no matter what your job is and stuff, there's always some kind of, like, negativity surrounding you, and um, whether you want it or not, there's, like, always drama and things that you're having to deal with, and I think I have dog hair in my lip gloss, but <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. But um, it just, it talks about just living and feeling free and, and stuff like that. It's a very fun kind of, like, 80s dance song. Should we have a look at the video? Bear, please. Leave that anorak. <laughs> now, Hilary, your, your new album, Most Wanted, it's not a Grace's Hits collection, is it? No. No. Basically, um, I went into the studio with my boyfriend and his brother, and <laughs> um, we, we did these three new songs for the record. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's like, Dad, stop it. <laughs> Did these three new songs for the record, and then I was going on tour, and uh, my label really liked the songs and wanted them to, wanted me to perform them during the tour, but I didn't, um... Sorry, I'm just trying to quiet <laughs> that down. <Sorry>. That's okay. <laughs> he wants you to interview... She, is it a girl? Yeah. She wants you to interview her. Oh, well, do, like, so we'll bust the can. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, I took some of my favorite songs from my previous records and some of the singles and like remixed them. And... Now, you, I'm going to read this out because it's quite a list. Now, this is your third album. Mm. You've had a hit TV series. You've starred in several movies. You've got a clothing line and you've yeah. just turned 18. <laughs> now, you leave us. <laughs> Hillary, you leave us standing. Martin, should we go now? <laughs> should we go now? <laughs> That's incredible. Liz, was it tough growing up with everybody watching you? Um, you know, I really. It was tough growing up just not having, like, the amount of freedom that a lot of kids have growing up, you know? Just, there's always so much, like, scrutiny and mm. people wanting to know and always like, oh, should I do this? Can I not? You know, it was always kind of that pressure and stressfulness, but um, I feel lucky the way I grew up. I, I really love my life and my job and everything, but I feel like I missed out a little bit on some, some normal things. You're but. obviously very disciplined. I think so. Yeah. You know, I'm very, I think I'm very driven, so I knew that I wanted to be an actress and a singer, and all this work comes along with it as well, you know, and you just yeah. kind of either accept that or not, so it is hard work, so I think I love it, you know, because you it's have a very to... wise head here, Martin, isn't yeah, it, very, on the young yeah, shoulders? Yeah, yeah. Very. I mean, at 18, I was like, what were you like at 18? Shocking. I was. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. I was handcuffed to the <laughs> <laughs> said about my mum. Uh -oh. We were so bad. You're so mature. It's amazing. Does your mum, does your mum keep your feet on the ground? Totally. Oh, does she? Yeah. yeah. She was actually on the first half of the trip with me, and she, we're really close. She's so cool. Um, we have, like, a really good relationship, and... Um, She's just so smart, you know. She, yeah. I, I need her around with, with my Does career. she work in the business? No, she no. doesn't. Well, she helps me, you know, because yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. do it on my yeah, own. But yeah. she's not like a singer, an actress, no, or yeah. a model or anything like that's that. That's a singer, actress, model. Oh. Miss <laughs> <at here. laughs> Did you think Lizzie McGuire would be so su successful? No. It was so weird, you know. I, I had actually done a TV show before Lizzie McGuire that did one episode. It was with Michael Chiklis, and it got canceled. And I was like, oh, kind of like let down, you know. So when I got Lizzie McGuire, I tried not to let myself get too excited because I thought the same thing would happen. And yeah. then it came out, and literally, like, three days after that, I tried to go to the mall with my friends, and it was like... Mobbed. But it was the weirdest feeling. I had no idea what to expect or to even expect that, you know. And it was just people really loved it, so... That's, it's, it's uh, just a matter. I mean, you're an inspiration, Hillary. Seriously, <laughs> you make me feel ashamed. No. I no, but when you're saying all the stuff about being positive, you're so right. Because I say to myself, oh, I'm going to go to work today. <laughs> do you do that, Martin? 
Uh, no, I'm quite positive, actually. Oh, are you? Yeah, sorry, yeah. Mm. Sorry. You said sorry, sorry it's just yeah. you, yeah. So I'm, I'm just the eternal you. pessimist, yeah. so all I support me up. You see, I think it indemnifies against bitter disappointments, pessimism. I'm a great believer Yeah, no, it can't, yeah. yeah. Yes, that's true. Maybe, Maybe I'll be optimistic. Maybe I'll get that bluebird of happiness on me finger. What do you reckon, Hilary? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's a real treat to meet you, being Thank a Lizzie McGuire fan. It really is. And I wish you all the best in the world. Ladies Thank and gentlemen, you. Hilary Dove. Come on, let's see you. I really do. I wish I was so wise yeah. at 18. <laughs> I want to take this dog home with me. You're going to love this, Hilary, now. You're really going to love this. No, I've, I've heard already. I'm nervous that I'm going to be coming home with another dog. Uh, no. <laughs> no, we're not doing that oh, bit not yet. That. No, no, no. <laughs> Well, normally it's me who says, I love this dog, I love that dog. <laughs> we had a tarantula in, we've had all sorts in, I said, I love that, please. Because I've got lovely Bert who stops me having any fun. That's why I'm such a misery, dear viewer. <laughs> no, this is where I play my beautiful Wurlitzer. Oh, oh you're going to love this. Because it's now time for someone to try and win £2,000 as we play... <laughs> Just the tune! Thank you! <laughs> now remember, you can win £500 for guessing the first tune correctly, and then you can gamble that £500 to win £2,000, but only <laughs> if you guess the second tune correctly and you're home by midnight. And all the tunes are from films. So, Hilary, who's on the line? Who's the first one? The first one? one is Heather, the first caller. OK, Heather! Hiya, Paul. Hello, where are you calling from? From Cumbria. Oh, very nice. How are you on your film themes? Oh, oh, all right, I hope. Oh, listen, we'll give you help, don't worry. Oh, please do. Yeah, I need the money to get my cat's car straighted. <laughs> <laughs> I've got seven stray cats. Car <laughs> <laughs> straighted. Oh, too much information, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't you said you were buying the kids Christmas presents instead? <laughs> well, then... <laughs> I don't know whether I want you to lose now, really. <laughs> Some poor moggy know. sat behind the telly chewing its claws. <laughs> please <laughs> fail, please fail. <laughs> I don't know what. I'm just going to play the tune. Best of luck and best of luck to the moggy. That's all I can say. <laughs> One, you. two, three. <laughs> Hello? Was it Titanic? Yes! <laughs> well, yep. you've won £500. There's a cat as we speak packing its cat litter tray. <laughs> I'm saying I'm out of here. <laughs> now, you've won 500 quid. Would you like to keep that or would you like to gamble? <laughs> would you help me or gamble? You're going to gamble? Yeah. Are you married, Hilary? I am married, yes. <laughs> I bet your husband's worrying in now, <laughs> in case you win. Yes, I bet he's doing the footballer's pose. As he's we... I'll him off, mate. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here's your second tune for £2,000. Best of luck. You ready? One, two, three. Yes! <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you. Oh, well. You've won £2,000. I think you'll have a bit of change left over after the cat, like, loses. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Okay. Please, might I have your autograph and the picture, please? Only if you promise not to do to me what you're going to do to the cat. <laughs> OK? I OK, please, please, please. I need them. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, we answer your emails and we meet five homeless dogs. But here's the number to call and register for Guess That Tune to win that trip to New York. <laughs> and have that wonderful shopping spree. See you after the break. Bye.
Welcome back, folks. Now, in a moment, we answer the rest of your emails, but first, we've got some very needy dogs. And remember, only call if you're serious and if you live locally to the rescue centre. And the number to call will be on the screen as we meet each dog. But before we start, I'd just like to read this out. We've had an email while we've been on air. Dear Paul, I'm mailing you to ask you to pass a message for me. I've searched the web for a Martin Clunes fa fan club but can't find one. I'll tell you why, love, because you spelled Clunes wrong. You spelled it C L double O N E. Yes. <laughs> it's not. It's L U N E S. That's why you can't find a website. So there you go. I hope I've been helpful. Aren't I just full of it, eh? Full of it. <laughs> yes. Kind. Now, first up here, this little dog. Wait, let me put this down. This is Sam. And Aww. he's lovely. And Sam's a three and a half year old retired greyhound. He's been in kennels for a year. He's lively. And he's a perfect pet for an active family. He needs a good long walk once a day. But he's very happy, just lazing around. He loves cats, don't you, Sam? Where's cats? Where's cats? He loves cats. He loves other dogs. And he gets on extremely well with children. He's a really lovely dog, aren't you? Look at him. Aren't you a good boy, eh? Let's meet dog number two, shall we? Martin? You. you ready, kid? Yep. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Well, welcome to the Martin Spoon Show. <laughs> this is um, this is Rollo, and this is uh, Binks. Binks is seven-year-old female terrier cross. Rollo is a five-year-old male chocolate Labrador. They've always been together. Binks is cheeky and loves going on walks and keeping Rollo in his place. And Rollo is a big teddy bear. He loves everybody and his food. It's any type of home, as long as they've got lots of love and attention, they stay together. Aww, I love yeah. the walk when you came on. Thanks. I'm sure cat walked that, Mr. Coons. Oh, yeah. I'm a model as well. She <laughs> and Hillary has got the next dog. Hillary! Come on, Casper. Come on. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Come on, over here. Come on. Sit down. Hey, Casper. Hey, Casper. <laughs> Sit, 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 sit down. There we go. This is Casper, and he is three and a half years old. He's a whippet lurcher. He really likes treats. He has had six different temporary homes and needs one. Um, he also is very friendly but chases cats and would like to be in a family with older kids but no cats. <laughs> and he's really sweet. Yeah. Oh. Show them your face. Go on, go on, Casper. Show me your face. Alicia, Show have you got the next one? Casper. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> Let's say Alicia's bringing on the next one. Who's this, Alicia? This is Max. Uh, no, please don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> Max is um, an 11 year old Labrador cross. He's a sensitive dog with loads of energy for a pensioner. Once he's settled into his new home, he will give you lots of love. He's very well trained and will be happy with older children and a garden to play in. OK, then. First up, now we've got time for a recap. First of all, there was Sam, who was the greyhound I had, who's now in Folkestone. <laughs> <laughs> ne next up, we've got our best friends here who can't be separated. We've got Bossy Boots, Sphinx, and we've got Food Loving Rolo, and they have to be home together. Then there's Casper, the very friendly whippet, <laughs> who needs a home with no cats. And finally, we've got lovely Max over there, the playful Labrador cross, who needs a loving <laughs> retirement home. Please, please give these dogs a good home. And remember, no time wasters, please, because we won't tolerate it. Thank you very much. There you go. So, well, we've got time. Ah, oh, they're lovely dogs. Uh, Hilary. <laughs> is he going out to Texas? Oh, I wish. <laughs> he's a nice guy. I like he the one on so the cute. end. I like them all. Oh, go on, Beth. I'll have them all. There you go. Don't... <laughs> all right, I'm only messing. Oh, we've got time for some emails? OK. To all of us, if you could have dinner with anyone, who would it be? Hilary, who would you like to have dinner with? Oh, um, hmm, I don't know. That's a really good question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I think just my, my friends right now, you know, I'm kind of desperate to see them. People that I know. Oh, how about you, Martin? <laughs> uh, Hilary? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and her friends. Oh, man, Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm going to do the ones. Come on, hurry up. Let's go. Mr. Martin Blue. 